Hello, welcome, welcome to the live stream. We're going to be just hanging out, having some fun, chilling, and playing a game that I've been uh, chasing down, trying to get my hands on, and finally did uh, for quite a quite a while, actually. Um, well over a month, and it's uh, finally come my way. And uh, a big shout out and a thank you to Curve Digital and Skyhook Games for hooking me up with a code for this after me pestering them for a very long time. So it is appreciated. We're going to be diving in. We're going to be mowing some lawns because, well, for one, it's just fun to do in general. Uh, the the heat and, you know, there's insects and, you know, all the physical labor aspects of it. That might not be the most fun thing in the universe, but it, it's still fun. So I, I've been excited. I've been eager. I played around last night, stayed up way too late playing it. Um, so, yeah, we're, we're going to just hop in and have some fun. Just pay the neighbor's kid to mow the lawn. Uh, you, are you sure you're not American, Ewing? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That does sound very American, though. I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. All right. Lawnmower simulator is there. We are here. And it is time, ladies and gentlemen, to dive in. Now, isn't this a lovely looking place? So we're... Ooh... Uh, is it shuddery and jumpy for you guys? Because uh, I'm looking at the preview screen and it's a little bit laggy. Let me know. Let me know. And greetings, Cobalt Productions, uh, Exile, or uh, yeah, Exiled, and Jung, of course. And, and it is jittery. Well, that's weird. I wonder why. Well, let me know if it's jittery while we're moving around here. Oh, looks very smooth on the preview screen. I guess it didn't like that other, uh, okay. It didn't like that other thing. All right, we got to hustle, folks. We got to hustle. We got to run. We got to sprint. We got to look for random stuff in the yard. This is something that, I I'm not going to lie, since uh, I kind of control my yard for the most part. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't do this as often as I should in my own yard, and I have run over dog toys and all sorts of things with the riding lawnmower. And it's never a pleasant sound. You're like, oh god, what did I do? So yes, it's a pretty good idea to walk the yard and see if there is any random stuff laying around. Ah, uh, yes, bad bumpy is bad from time to time. I will be playing on a PlayStation 5 controller, and we basically have one of the starting mowers, but we have the mulching attachment. So we're gonna start our engine. Uh, we got to figure out what height we're cutting it to. Two and two to two and three eighths. All right. Turn up the throttle. Two and two and three eighths is less than two and a half. So I can do two and a quarter. All right. Are you guys ready? Let me know if it's uh, if it gets any laggier or anything else while we're moving around. I don't know that I can necessarily uh, stop that problem, but be good to know. All right, so we get to basically drive around and mow a lawn. It's, I know it seems like a simple thing, and, and sure, it is a simple thing, but I got to tell you, it's way more fun and very relaxing. Uh, than you might initially expect. Camera angles aside. Now, there are multiple different camera angles. I mean, you could run the uh, the whole first-person mode, which is probably easier to get through trees and stuff and avoid murdering flowers and whatnot. I, I actually like the third-person mode, personally, but, you know, you do you. We'll roam around a little bit. It does look a little bit like we're driving a possessed lawnmower since... Our hands and, you know, our body is kind of missing. But, of course, you know, for the camera angle, this is what you would kind of want. Now, you'll notice on the bottom right corner, there is a little indicator there. It shows our speed, and there's a little red arrow. Uh, certain parts of the lawn are probably, and I'm assuming this is the case, are longer and a bit more difficult to mow through than other parts of the lawn. That being said... You go through too quickly, it gets unhappy with you. So, all right, I'm gonna switch back to this view. 
Trying to control my camera a little. There we go. So you're going to kind of take your time. Basically, yes, it's like Mario Kart on the grass. And you'll notice that I'm a little bit off here. There we go. Now, there are obviously much, much bigger, better, faster mowers than the one that we're currently on. This is uh, basically career mode I started yesterday. So, was, or last night, I was pretty excited. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to play it. I've been wanting to play this for a long time. I'm going to play it before I, I record or do my first episode. And that's not usually how I do things. You guys know I like to dive in completely blind. Oh, completely blind there and just get it, get after it. But nah, I decided it was time. I do have the mulching attachment, so it's no longer a side-blowing lawnmower, so it's a little bit easier than having to worry about blowing all this grass up into the flower bed here. You gotta make you gotta make intricate designs with your mowing. You know, you, you can't just do straight stripes and whatnot. No, no, no. You gotta you gotta go all over the place. You want a little bit of um, aliens landing situation. You know what is that called? Uh, the crop circles. There we go. That's what it is couple crop circles in the middle of your yard you know you gotta have fun with it I mean I know I do I will say the mulching attachment for this is fantastic by the way concentric circles well there it's true there are no uh, there are there is no crop so it's just grass I mean I guess it could be a crop if you're if you're a cow so again, it's just, there's really not much more to it than this. Just hop on the mower, drive around, have some fun, and just relax and enjoy. Honestly, last night, you know, I played for maybe the first hour or so listening to all the sounds and everything else. Then I kind of turned the engine sounds up just a little bit so it was a little bit louder than it is now. And I just turned on some music and I was just like, okay, this is cool, this is fun. Just, just relax. And I was up till about 6 in the morning. <laughs> it was great. It's really good. Um, this does work with a wheel and, uh, attachment, so if you guys have a wheel and you'd like, oh, this looks like it'd be a fun game to kind of have your racing wheel on, by all means, give it a shot. It's supposed to work really well with it. Uh, it works pretty good with the controller as well, as you can see here. I know I should never really back up, but eh. Eh. If you get in the right, the right mojo, you can just do the nice, gentle turn. Uh, that's not really a thing that I do well. You you want to try to avoid murdering flowers and things too, of course. Uh, one of the things they're working on are apparently what people call a weed eater, a weed whacker, or up here in Canada, apparently my wife and her father call it a whipper snipper. Never heard of that one before. Um, are actually called, I believe the technical term is a strimmer, which I had never heard of before. This game has enlightened me to many things. And uh, that is something that they are working on. So you don't necessarily have to get quite as close as you do right now. In the future, you'll be able to actually go and use a, you know, a hand tool, essentially, to take care of that. All right, let's go make some fun designs here. I'm sure these people won't mind. Make hidden messages in the grass. And then say bye. Eat at Joe's. Uh, if we get a bigger yard, I'll try. I'll try to do something like that. Could be fun. I missed something here. All right, let's do this too, real quick. Let's turn up the. Sound effects there, and let's turn the, the ambiance is nice. The ambient music, or, or sorry, sounds. Is nice, but I find that it's like incredibly loud by comparison. So let's see if this is a little bit better overall. Um, they don't have like tractor sized ones, but this is a very small one by comparison. I did one of the challenges yesterday, and it was a, um, I believe it was a stand up, stand up mower, and it was uh, way, way, way faster and more maneuverable than this one. It was, I was like, oh my god, it was really hard for me to adapt from mowing in this thing to mowing in that. So it's going to take a while before we're really up to snuff when it comes to anything super fancy. But I did uh, take out a loan for for our next mower. And I can afford it, but I don't have a spot for it. Oh, going too, too fast. So, so what happens here is if you go too quickly and it gives you that warning, let's see if we can't take a look at it real quick. See, 
You see right up here, this little patch to my right? You see how all the grass is cut, except in the middle there, there's like a little bit that's a little higher. If it's, if you're going too quick and the engine can't keep up, uh, you get stuck with uh, having to basically mow over it again. That's why you really kind of want a variable control. I mean, you can definitely do this with keyboard and mouse, but uh, yeah, this is definitely something where I'm like, ooh, immediately, controller. There was no hesitation, no question. I'm like, I definitely want to do this with the controller. I'm not even going to think about it. Let's see if I can get the right turn radius here. I'm afraid to, I'm, let's see, I'm afraid to overturn, so then I underturn. Because I don't want to eat all the flowers of the lawnmower. I think I missed it again. So, how's everyone doing on this day? Hopefully they're doing pretty well. Now I'm going to be getting back into recording tonight. There was something I was going to be trying to do, but I, I don't think I can commit the time. Um, there's a, a game that's releasing on the 20th that I'm still going to try to get my hands on that and cover it, but uh, I was going to hook up with some other content creators, and we are going to do... It, it's Gloomhaven, if you've not seen that yet. That's been on my list to look at and get for quite some time. Anyhow, um, I was going to try to hook up with another content creator or three and basically just do a big, long session. Well, do play the game with, uh, I think, four players, essentially. And we were going to role-play our characters because it's it's really like a tabletop experience in you know, video game form. And I was really excited and interested about that, but uh, the person who's going to be running it is hoping to get like a six-hour commitment at any you know for like per session once a week. And while I can maybe maybe pull six hours a week, I can't do it in one session. I I don't think I ever have a single day where I have six hours free. So unfortunately, it's like I may have to pass on it. Uh, no, Colonel said he's too busy. He hates me, so it's fine. No, uh, he's got his new job, and he's already got you know all this stuff that he's doing now. Uh, he can barely keep up with all that. He doesn't want to add anything extra to it. I did ask the colonel if he'd be interested in joining as well. But, like I said, I, I don't know that I'm going to be able to do it because that's, that's too much time in one sitting, for me to, or even one single day for me to do. And I can't guarantee that other stuff isn't going to come up either. That's kind of one of those nature of my job situations. Uh, I'm busy at very specific times. And I have to be busy at those times. And I can't let other stuff really get in the way. And I don't want to, you know, end up letting anyone down if I'm not able to make it. Because, you know, tabletop uh, stuff, when you don't have all the people, it's just, you know, it hurts. It, it definitely hurts the... I won't say the bottom line, like it's a money thing, but, you know, it just hurts stuff. But, yeah, the, my whole goal today was kind of show off this game. I will be covering this. I'll probably be doing this, like, once a month or something. Uh, may, maybe more, because, like I said, I, I am having fun playing it. But, uh, yeah, I'm just going to do this once in a while. I was going to do it whenever I had to mow the lawn, but, honestly, I only have to mow the lawn, like, five, six times a year. Because, you know, Canada and it also being cold and frigid all the time. Hmm. Not all the time, but a lot of the times. Uh, you only really have to mow the lawn a few times a year. So, uh, I feel like that would be a little bit too light. So, somewhere in the middle. I have no idea how exactly I'm going to do a Let's Play series of this, but I'm going to have fun trying. And hopefully you guys are going to have some fun watching. You can absolutely crash into stuff and you get penalized if you do it. If you eat the flowers of the lawnmower, you get penalized. Thankfully, the penalties are actually quite insubstantial, inconsequential, as it were. So it's not really that big of a deal, even if you do decide to go on a tear and destroy everything. But eh, I'd like to actually make some money to pay off my debt eventually. So that's the plan. Yes, yeah, I know he's been. Well, he said he's been doing that. I, th I only think he's done it a couple of times, but yeah, good for him. I um, I, I told my wife and promised her that I would be getting back on the. Try not to die at a young age uh, train here soon myself. Basically, the International just ended a couple, well, yesterday, actually. And uh, that was kind of my last big, all right, I'm going to be a lazy bum and eat a bunch of horrible junk food, and it's going to be great. You know, kind of reward yourself for being a horrible bum the rest of the year. <clears throat> anyway, uh, so I'm going to start getting on, uh, fixing, fixing myself up a little bit, too, so... So the colonel will have competition. 
He might be able to outride me, but in a fight, I'm pretty sure I got him beat. Also, I, I don't know why we would fight or why anyone would actually want to hit the Colonel unless they uh, played Divinity Original Sin 2 with him. Then I can see why they'd want to hit him. You know, let me, uh, let me do this. I know I have gas. Oh, it actually... Okay, that's interesting. I know I have gas and things going. Uh, that was fine. Uh, I want to move my camera a little bit more. Because I was blocking a few things there. This is kind of a, a like an immediate out of nowhere. I want. I'm gonna do this thing last night. I wanted to stream because you know I've missed quite a bit of streaming over the last couple weeks, and I want to get back into it. So figured this would be a good, nice, uh, low pressure, easy, relaxing, chill stream. Just you know, hang out, talk with you folks as you come on through. And War Thunder again. Uh, that's the like World War II planes game. Is that correct? Ha, ah, I did miss something. So I saw out of the corner of my eye that I missed a couple blades of grass over there. All right, we're at 58%. You can see the throttle is there. Uh, basically, it's on or off there. It doesn't seem to be... It doesn't seem to be any kind of settings. Now, that's uh, something that... All right, there's a couple things that I might would decide to change, maybe, or modify to the game. Small feedbacks. Um... First, just more of a question than a feedback. Why is there only full throttle and not full throttle? Uh, if you could set various different throttle levels, I think that would help you maintain a specific speed and therefore allow you to not have to be so light on the trigger button to accelerate or a gas pedal if you had the wheel. And that would actually solve one of my, my issues is you can't just go necessarily... You can for parts of it in certain lawns. You definitely can, but can't generally just go full out because you end up missing some blades of grass because your your engine can't keep up so I was thinking you know if there's a way to like hit a button to like I don't know, I, I don't want to say like autopilot or uh, cruise control necessarily but something that won't allow your um, I don't know if it would have to somehow read the terrain like I don't know how they would implement that from a programming strength standpoint so maybe this is why they haven't done it in general but um, some way to either set a speed cap or just not let you go faster than your motor can handle so you can actually not have to like slow down or almost stop every time that thing flashes red. And, like I said, small criticism. I, again, I don't know if it's something that's easily done. I, I feel like if you could cap your speed at like maybe 75 or 20 percent increments, you know, 80, 60, so on and so forth. Uh, I think that might be a, an easy or maybe an elegant or maybe even not an elegant or just a simple solution on how to prevent yourself from uh, getting, you know, having to go back and redo a bunch of stuff. However, at the same time, that is part of the, you know, the current gameplay elements, right? So removing any of that might just make the game boring. I'm not real sure. Uh, they did. They actually got to get with a whole bunch of developers, or sorry, uh, not publishers, not developers. I think it's manufacturers. Uh, the people who actually design and make the, the lawnmowers put them out, the manufacturers. And they actually got to take them all out to this giant field and test them, which I thought was really, really, really cool. So they uh, recorded a lot of the sounds of the different mowers. Uh, they, of course, had the design specs and actually got to physically see the mowers in action and you know physically touch them which is really cool so they did a really good job of recreating these i actually think i have i, I don't remember what my riding lawnmower is it's one that has uh the, the two bars in the front but there's no like big bar along the back it's it's relatively old and i have no idea what brand it is um our yard is not big enough to have that but my wife's father um you know he's an old man and he I don't know if he got it because he wanted to have an easier time or because it was like a, hey, I've made X amount of money. This is a prestige thing. But either way, I get to play around with it and drive it around and do our lawn. And it's great. and I love it. Um, still got to use two other devices to actually finish the lawn, mind you. But 
because there's still parts I, I use a push mower to get to because uh, it's a little, a little questionable. And of course, then I use the strimmer or the weed whacker or the weed eater or whatever you want to call it to finish up. So, good times. Oh, you should see some of the, well, just just judging it off of the other one that I, I did, the, uh, the challenge, I missed a strip back there. The challenge that I did, uh, this is very slow by comparison. The other one was much quicker. I was like, wow. I didn't think it'd get that much faster. It's like most of the top speeds are actually pretty low by, you know, comparison to I don't know, maybe what you would expect. I think this thing top speed is like eight. Oh, I destroyed a flower. Boo! I'm a terrible human person. Well, you want to get close, but you don't want to murder the flowers. So I'll get fined like a dollar for the flower going bye-bye. Anyway, you get to choose different contracts. You'll see all that stuff. We'll hop into HQ and I'll show you. Uh, I don't know if I can test drive every mower. I know I was able to test drive a couple of them. And honestly, this was uh, this was my favorite out of the three. It is also, I believe, the fastest out of the three. And that's probably why it was my favorite. And when you originally start this one, it has a side-blowing... Uh, not enhancement, but it's a side-blowing uh, one. There's one that's actually a collector where you have a bag and it gets filled up. I haven't actually run that one at all yet. So I'm very curious to see how that one feels and plays. Uh, and then the other one's a mulching one, but we got a mulching attachment. Normally on this side, instead of that plate that's right there, that green plate at the bottom, there's usually a thing that's like warning, uh, blah, 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 or caution, you know, this is the exhaust board or whatever it is. Um, where it basically chucks all the grass. And the problem with the side port ones are you have to be mindful of, you don't want to go like this, you'll blow all your grass clippings onto the sidewalk, and it's real bad. So make sure you don't do that. Hey, how's it going, Cora? Nah, greetings and welcome to the stream. Well, there you go. Real life and on a stream. I'm a double threat guy. Damn it. Sorry, guys, guys, I've only been up for a little bit. Uh, I had a pretty bad headache last night, and it looks like it's coming back. Yay! Sorry. If it gets if it gets a little bit worse, we'll take an Advil or something. It'll be fine. But how could we be stressed out when we're mowing down lawns? Uh, we're going too fast there. We're getting pretty close. We're up to 82.3%. Now, if you go too fast when you uh, decide to turn around, you can also damage the ground, and this is actually something that you need to be aware of if you ever do have a riding lawnmower. Uh, depending on the type, you very easily can mess the ground up. Uh, for one, if it's wet, so any like low spot on your yard uh, tends to hold more more moisture in general. Uh, so if you're running through on a you know big old tractor lawnmower. Uh, it's very possible that you're going to do a little bit of damage to your yard. You're going to have a little bit of little mud splotches. And it's not going to be good. So, just something to be aware of. As I slowly go through. I'm so happy they got back to me. It took them a while. It did. It took them a while. I, I reached out, I think, prior to them releasing the game. And I was like... Uh, this looks well. Oh, all right, hold on. Let me, let me rephrase that. I, I put in a request through one of these uh, third party sites that kind of, they're the middleman essentially. And honestly, for the most part, they're good. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I get, a, I get a lot of stuff that I get sent through those sites. And it's great. And it's really good for content creators. It lets the site vet the content creators for the developers and the publishers and such. Like, they do a very good service. So don't get me wrong there. But uh, sometimes I don't I don't know what happens. Like it, now, I can't say that this is necessarily a perfect fit for me, or maybe really anyone. I don't know anyone that this is a perfect fit for like their content or their channel, because I don't know of any other game that's like this. So how could you already have this as a perfect fit? But uh, sometimes there are perfect fits for the channel, and you're like, uh, what? How did I just get skipped or missed? You know? And it's not just me. Plenty of people get that. I'm not. I'm not. So I'm just saying, like, 
it's a thing that happens. So I don't know if like the sheer number of requests yours gets buried or like what the deal is exactly on some of these sites. But anyway, so I, I did eventually reach out to them saying, man, I really like to get my hands on this. Blah, 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 blah. And I was sitting there going, man, well, if it doesn't come my way. I'm probably going to have to save up and, and, and grab it. And then I'll just play it on my own, you know. I, I'm, I'm leaning more and more toward not supporting, and this might sound petty, and there'll be exceptions, but uh, not supporting developers, publishers, and whatnot that don't want to work with me. And again, it, it, it's it's less from a, a petty standpoint at this point. Maybe, maybe a few years ago, maybe even recently, uh, that could have been a petty situation where I'm like, well, they don't want to work with me. But there's so many people who do want to work with me, who do send me stuff that... There, there's things that I, I can't even cover that I really want to, I just don't have the time. So, you know, support those that want to support you, I, I guess, is really more my mentality. So while I would have maybe still purchased this game, you guys probably never would have seen it. So I'm super happy that they actually did get back to me, and they did hook me up with the code. So, very happy Bumpy here. Like I said, this is definitely something, I don't know why, it just, I saw it and I'm like, that is... I don't know why I like it as much as I do, but I just, I need that. I need to play that. I want it, put it in my veins. Uh, Han 6 playthrough, do you really enjoy the series? Um, no, 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 you can you can ask questions like that. Uh, it's, all right, so here, here's my, here's my, uh, I'll answer the question in a second. Because th that's actually what's currently, oh, we're, we're stuttering and lagging again, great. Why, why are we stuttering and lagging again? on screen. I don't know. Give me a minute. I wonder if it's the same on YouTube. Is anyone on YouTube right now that could tell me if the, the stream was laggy? But uh, just a quick iteration uh, or uh, answer your question. Here's what's next up on my editing and rendering thing. Welcome to the Freak Show. Nope. Uh, see, look, you get to hear one of my Welcome rare mess ups. back to the Freak Show. Hom 6, guys and gals, my Magic Hero 6. There you go. So that's next up on there. Every so often I mess up my own intro. It's, it's terrible. I know. Okay, I don't really, I don't really have a way of making it less laggy. I I, I don't. It, this might be a a problem with restream. It's fine for you. Um. No, this is not from Playaway. These are this is Skyhook Games. And Curve Digital. They might make a few simul... I, I don't think Skyhook Games does, but I, I think um, Curve Digital might release a few simulators. There's like two or three different games that put, or, uh, companies that put out a lot of sim games. I'm hoping maybe it's just my own. Uh, people, folks on Twitch, can you tell me if it's uh, stuttery and laggy for you? Because uh, Cora told me that it's, um, it's fine on, on the YouTube side of things. Anyhow, uh, the, the only thing that I that really, uh, I guess, bothers me is when I put out, you know, like a, a new video or a different series or whatever. People are like, cool, you did that, I hate it, do the thing that I want. Like, that bothers me. And, and, and I know they don't say they hate it, but if, I, if, I, if I'm having, like, if I'm playing, uh, let's say, Phoenix Point, for instance, I'm playing Phoenix Point, I don't really want people to be like, oh, cool, uh, when's this coming out? Like, that... I don't know, that feels disrespectful to the game, to the developer, to me wanting to do other things. But, you know, if we're on a live stream and you're just like, hey, when's the next episode of HOM 5 or 6 coming out? Or when's the next episode of Disgaea or whatever? By all means, I have no problem with that. But when you go to a specific video and you're like, hey, let me put this out there. I, it just, it feels bad to me. I, I don't, I don't like it. And again, not not petty enough to be like, well, every time somebody uh, asks for a, a, an episode of, like, you know, I'll finish that thought and then I'll, I'll explain. Like, it, it's good. It's a good and a bad problem to have, right? So, uh, hey, every time somebody does that, I'll just delay the thing that they want for longer. That's a petty way of looking at it. And I, I don't ever want to be like that. But at the same time, it's like, hey, people really like this one thing that you're doing. Like, you know, there's good to it as well. It's just, I, I would, you know, there's there's like a time and place for that, I guess, is, is my issue. And I feel like on another video, it, you know, it's great, you know, come to a live stream, like, hey, I really like Com 6. Need to put out another episode? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to do that pretty soon, so, cool. Appreciate it. 
hey, you're doing this other thing. Uh, don't care about it. When's the next this? Eh, it feels, it's a different feel, right? All right, no stutters now? Good. Good, 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 good. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Restream's okay, but it, it definitely is a bit laggier. There's like a 15 second delay on uh, chat. And there's, I don't know. Oh, see, I, I spun too quickly. I, I damaged the ground there, so I got a little, little penalty. Restream's good, though. I mean, I, I get to stream on both YouTube and Twitch. It's, it's great. I would say, minor complaints on that part. Okay, we basically have this last strip of grass, and then we're done with our first bit. There is a bit of uh, economy management and stuff like that to do. So, see right there, you can see the little dirt underneath the tires there. That's kind of where I screwed it all up. Yeah, like I said, so, so don't feel bad and I am absolutely not attacking you at all. You, like, this is the right way to do it every single time. You, you come in to a live stream, feel free to ask me whatever you want. If it's something I can answer, I will. If it's something I don't want to answer, I can't, I won't, but, you know, good times, good times. All right, let's finish this bad boy up. Now, what's funny is you only have to complete, like, 99 point something. I could technically leave that strip there, and I don't really know why. Also, there's a feature where if you're not sure where you missed grass, you can hit this button, and it does this weird thing that makes my eyes want to bleed. But it kind of shows... I don't know, it's kind of hard to really describe... Oh, there you go. If you hold it. Okay, so, yeah, if you hold it, it shows you uh, where it is. But if you just do this and reset it, like, the grass is moving, but it being so small, like, oh, it kind of melts my brain a little bit. So that's an easy way of figuring out where maybe you missed some stuff. And you, I, I didn't even realize that I had missed uh, some of the edges. Like, there's a couple pieces of grass over here on the right-hand side, all around the flower bed that I still missed. Didn't know that. All right, I'm gonna turn the, the blade off. We're gonna have to go back into our trailer and basically we're done. I, I did one where the grass is so big and so so thick that the engine almost, like my, my mower was smoking. I almost blew up the mower because I was going too fast through it. it. It wasn't good. So then I was like, the last half, the last, I think it was, I think it was over half of it, like 60%. I was going really slow to make sure I didn't screw it up. There we go. Yeah, this is a little bit, little bit stuttery. Not too bad there. Now I'm not over driving anything, and I'm also not drive, dropping any frames, which is great. All right, so this is the current lawnmower that we have. We let's see the breakdown. Uh, when you do the ground check, if you do it quick enough, you get a time bonus, and we did it quick enough, so we got a, it's all in EU or sorry uh, in euros. It's because it's uh, like British. I, I believe it's uh, a British, like it's set in England. Um, so, strange that it's not in pounds, but whatever. Uh, anyway, uh, so it's all in euros. So we got 578. I'm probably still going to say dollars on accident, so just just accept it. I was trying to look for a way to maybe change it, but it, it, like, it doesn't really matter. It's me personally, I'll want to say dollars. Anyway, 578 in euros, 20 for actually doing the ground check. Uh, cutting time bonus, we finished a little bit ahead of time. Uh, so we got 10 cents extra. I, I'm assuming they have cents. I don't know. Uh, and then the penalties and fines were, were fined a dollar fifteen or sorry, uh, one fifteen euro. I don't I don't know. It's weird. So one flower was destroyed and we did a little bit of ground damage. So not too bad. We still ended up making seven hundred or sorry three hundred seventy four seventy three. And then you also get advertisement, which allows you to get more notoriety or. It's, it's called RP, I forgot what it stands for, but um, recognition points or something like that. Basically, reputation, I think it is. So we have a better and better reputation. People are going to want to use us and so on and so forth. So here we are at HQ. We're already doing the upgrade. And it's four days before we get our extra bay. At that point, I'm going to go and purchase a new uh, mower, hopefully. And it's going to be great, theoretically. Uh, we already have a second person. We're starting to train her up so she can do some stuff as well. 
so you, it doesn't matter if you call it dollars or pounds. Well, it's it's listed as... Is that the pound symbol? That's not even the euro symbol? It, it might even be. I, I don't know. I thought that was the euro symbol, but it might even be pound symbol. Either way. Maybe I'll just call it cash monies. How about that, Jung? We'll just, we'll just get through it all together. All right, so... All right, when we're doing the upgrade in four days, we'll have the extra bay. We'll be able to buy the extra mower. Uh, eventually, we'll have enough cash monies to go and purchase a new place. Uh, one employee, one vehicle, monthly HQ maintenance amount. Okay, I think we're in the I think we're in the red wall building, and we're going to upgrade that, and then it'll be one out of one. Uh, advertisements, we're currently going with the local flyers. That's 140 RP per day at 500 cash monies. 250 cash monies over here. It's for a single day, but we get 210. And then this one's a much longer, slower one. You know what? I'm probably going to do that too. It's expensive. Now nah, it's, it's too expensive right now. We're just going to stay with the local flyers. We're getting a decent amount of RP coming from that. Then we can edit the company, the logo, and the colors. Of course, we went with Freak Show colors. Oh, is that what the euro symbol looks like? Are you sure? I mean, you, I'm sure you are. I don't know that I've ever seen that symbol. It might just be the... Ever, I don't... Hmm. Well... Anyhow, moving along. Uh, here's the various different things that we can do. We have a 551. There's a bit of complexity there. A little less complexity at 480. Then a big old one. I'm, I think we're going to do this one, and then we're going to probably call it a close to our stream. Ooh, one of these two. Which ones do you want to see? Paddock A or the training field? Um, then we can see our employee. Since we've already trained him a little bit, we're going to train her again. We're going to get her a level two for time management. So she'll be pretty decent by the time she's actually able to be on a mower. Hey, Cup, how's it going? And then this is the current mower that we have. The deck size is 31 inches. It is side discharge, but we have that chopped off to the mulching attachment. Uh, one and three eighths gallon of gas. Cruise around on that top speed is seven miles an hour and the engine's 9.5 horsepower. So we're gonna go in here and we're gonna look at, oh, well, we're gonna do our maintenance first. Minor repairs to the blade and fuel and the engine. The attachment, this is the only one that's available. The only one, and we owned it. Otherwise, we, it's a side blower, right? So certain things need to have different um, different requirements. Like some want the mulching one, some don't. Statistics, how long we've been driving. Four hours, 13 minutes. We've completed nine contracts. We've traveled a long way. Uh, we've made a bunch of cash monies. It's, it's good times. We could sell the vehicle, which I don't want to do. I want to keep this one and get a new one. That's the plan. So here are the other ones that are available. And we actually have enough to exchange it if we wanted to. I'm probably going to grab this one next. The fancy L is British Pound Sterling. It still looks weird, dude. I don't, I don't know why, like... The, the second one looks more memorable. Like I've, I've seen that more. I'll just have to look it up. I think it's the weird font that I'm seeing it in. The second one is the British Pound. Gotcha. All right. Anyway, so I'm probably going to grab this one next and just keep it Patterson for right now. This one looks like it's got an easier turning thing with a single wheel in the back. So we'll see how it's going to handle differently for sure. But then they've got a, a bunch of others. The old Skag, this one's side discharge as well. This one's a rear discharge. So it just spits everything out the back. That looks pretty amazing. Top speed's 8. This top speed's 8.5. 26 horsepower. I don't know. Maybe, maybe we jump up instead of getting... No, we'll probably end up getting this. I mean, we, we'd have the money to get that, maybe. Because we have about 10,000. We could actually get all the way up to maybe this one. Uh, 48 inch, it's a mulcher. Top speed's 8.7. So let's just take a look at the, the, the highest of the high. 14.9. This thing is a beast. 37.4 horsepower engine. 
and it's got a 60 inch deck size that's gonna be kind of insane that's the grounds master right there that's that's the one that you want look it even has its own little like uh warning light on it that's, that's great makes me very 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 happy anyhow uh we're, yeah we're down here in the uh in the in the dredges now this one looked really cool but its top speed is 4.3 it is brutal to drive this thing around i test drove it and i did not enjoy it at all at all it was just it was painful anyway we'll definitely save up trying to get some toro they're going to be adding new things down the line there's definitely more what's the word uh more mowers coming that is a thing that they are going to be working on. Additionally, they're going to be working on, like I said, the, the strimmers and things like that. So we still going to get like three or four, no, I don't want to ice cream, but three or four more days before we're actually able to go. So we have this active loan right now. We have 10 days to repay it. And I think we're weekly repaying it. I'm not real sure how this works. Or maybe it's 10, I have no idea how this actually works exactly, but I took the loan out and then I'm like, yeah, and I upgraded the building. I'm like, cool, and I hired the person. I'm like, oh, the upgrade takes seven days. Uh, so we're four days out still. That means we gotta keep mowing lawns. There's, there doesn't seem to be any way of advancing the, the time. So we're, we're kind of stuck in having to mow, uh, mow every time. Because I was like, I'll just send my employee out to do it. But unless we're actually mowing as well, they're like, nah, uh-uh. All right, this one's going to be a long one. It's going to take us basically the rest of the stream. Uh, assuming I don't blow it up. Uh, two to three-eighths inch. Okay. And that's basically it. Let's get to it. Can't wait to get a faster mower, though. It's it's uh, it's pretty cool, like I said. Got to ride around on a, on a faster one for one of the challenges. And, oh, boy, this is like a... A horse training field, I guess. Kind of makes sense. Alright, I know it's laggy. Hopefully it's not laggy now. It's not quite as smooth as it is in camera for me. But again, it could be... It could be, once again, uh, just the preview screen itself. All right, so we're gonna go run the uh, the yard, pick up six objects. We got one. Do 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 do. Couldn't they just supply me with like a Shetland pony? Oh my god, this grass is actually pretty long. This this could take a while. Ooh. Honestly, probably should have gone with a much 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 smaller and easier one until we get the faster, bigger, stronger, more powerful mower. I feel like this might have been a mistake. Now, granted, this is very simple. We can do whatever we want here. We can we can write names in the in the in the grass. We can we can do whatever we want with this one. But it's probably going to be pretty slow, and we're probably not even gonna be able to go at like full speed. All right, we basically just have one object left. Aha! All right. I can't jump. The grass... Uh, might be... It's it's running perfectly fine. I think it's because I'm doing restream and it's probably a lower bit rate or something. But uh, if YouTube chimes in again, we can find out whether or not it still looks fine there. I'm hoping it looks okay, at least on YouTube, because there's going to be a bot of this. Alright, let's get on out here. God, this is going to take forever. We should not have done this one. 
just doing what we did there a little bit. It's it's too fast for the uh, it's too much for the lawnmower. Also, I'm not cutting at the right height either, which is oh no, I turned the engine off on accident. Yeah, the grass definitely not too much for the uh, the PC anyway, because it's uh you know I've got a I've got a 1080, and PC is real new. All oh, right, got to turn the blade itself on. Eh. Awkward. We basically made a a, heli, a helipad here. The engine stalled out. That's crazy. Yeah, this this might have been a mistake. You, look how much damage you've already done to the engine. Okay, okay, okay. We can't do this one. I knew this was a I knew this was a bad idea. And then it just got worse. All right, let's try that again. Can't do that one. We're gonna have to stay away from these until a bit later on. These are just gonna be too much to do. So we'll stick with the easiest ones that we can. It's still gonna take us a, quite a bit of time. But yeah, that. One. Uh, well, I mean, uh, we we made our mark, right? I mean, it's something. All right. Let's go. Let's go run the. The yard. This is a lovely place. Alright. Yeah. So laggy. Very disappointed in uh, this. I think what I'm going to try doing once we're done with this, and I do officially break off the, the main stream on YouTube, I'm going to run a like a five minute test stream on Twitch, just streaming through Twitch's services and see what it looks like. Because I feel like that's going to be, it's going to be a lot better if we do it that way, just from Twitch standpoint. Also, in totally unrelated news to what we're doing here right now, man, it looks really bad on the preview screen. Ah, uh, sorry. Um, I, I think it's because a lot of the games are lesser games right now, but uh, Square Enix are really uh, wanting to work with me lately, which is nice. Uh, what was it? The Circuit Superstars was one, which was pretty cool. We gotta find the right height. Uh, two and one eighth, two and a half, we'll go two and a half. Uh, then they hooked me up with Act Razor Renaissance, and they just hooked me up with another one that I'll probably end up doing tonight. So, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Because pre previously, all the um, I, I'd requested a lot of stuff over a while, you know, wanting to work with them. They were kind of my white whale for a while. Anyway, um, I had requested quite a few things, and previously, the only thing they really said okay was the Saga Saga Legacy Saga Remastered. I don't know what it was now. I don't know what it was called. And you know, I played that for a bit, and I will definitely continue it, but. I get busy as I'm sure you are all well aware. Ghost Rider! It feels so much faster when you ride it in a first person mode. <laughs> all, the, all the trees are hitting me. They hit me in the lungs. Um, so, yeah, and, and they passed me by on a, quite a few things. So, you know, still semi occasionally throwing them out there to see if that's something they want to do. And, yeah, they came back with like three. Again, they're smaller games in the grand scheme of things, but hey, you know what? That's cool. I was going to build up my reliability to show that I'm going to cover the things that, you know, are request. Because, again, I do, I do like covering a wide range of games to let folks know what's out there and, you know, let them see. Yeah, first person mode is definitely easier for uh, this, this edge stuff here. I constantly have to readjust the camera angle when I'm in uh, third person third person mode. I think I just rubbed that flower to I didn't murder it. 
All right, it's a little harder to see right now. Yeah, we don't want to. We don't want to keep that trajectory. That's a bad idea. There we go. I'm like, I feel like uh, I might not be lined up like I hope I am. Alright, we're almost done with the uh, spooky part of this. That's the, the edging. Good times all around, folks. Good times all around. All right, let's get back to the view I prefer. I kind of wish I took the uh, mulching. No, I mean I I do. I do kind of wish I did that, but man, it would just make this a lot worse. Uh, the mulching plate, so you guys could actually see how it works um, with the side blower attachment. No, I said they did want to work with me. You alright there, you? So they've been wanting to work with me a lot lately. Literally how I started that whole conversation. That that whole uh, digression into my monologue there was uh, how nice it's been that Square Enix has really been wanting to work with me lately. So, like I said, we'll start. I'll keep putting out stuff. Uh, I'm not going to go crazy, but they've been putting out a lot of um, smaller titles lately, not just their big, super huge ones. And who knows? Maybe down the road, maybe I will be in line for something like Final Fantasy 16. I doubt it, considering you know my relative size to the millions of people that are going to want to cover something like that, but you never know. There's something to be said about being reliable and, you know, knowing that they can trust me to actually cover and put out high-quality content. So, we'll see. We'll see. I'm mowing lawns right now. It's all good. I kind of like cutting out a lot of the, the turns and try to keep it a little bit straighter. But at the same time, that, that's almost counterproductive, I feel, because making the turns and doing it right, you, you know, you're able to just keep going in one steady line. You have to do a lot of backups and keep in the sharp corners. But I, I still feel like driving in straight lines, for the most part, looks better. It's like right there, I'm going to leave that little corner that we missed, because uh, every time I went to fix it, it would uh, basically just end up as a square again over and over, so kind of rounded edges at times. It's not necessarily terrible, but who knows. Uh, the, the most recent one is a while ago. They're, I, I think they're putting finishing touches on 16, so 16 is going to be probably due out 2022, so I guess maybe, maybe a uh, holiday season of 2021. Uh, Final Fantasy 15... God, that released six, seven years ago, maybe? It's been a while. Uh, now, granted, they did do the remake of 7, part 1, and that was much more recent. That was like a year or two ago. And that is but that is not necessarily any easier. In fact, that might even be harder because they have to reimagine it. They broke it up. They, they have voice acting now for you know every single person. Uh, I'm almost 100% sure that they rewrote most of the script, if not all of it, to make it actually make sense and you know, fit into modern times and whatnot, so, yeah. It was still a massive endeavor, so just because it's a remake, I don't think it was anything less. You feel old? Yeah, I know. I feel old too, man. 
Speaking of old, uh, we're less than we're less than a month away from my eight years, folks. Eight years on YouTube and kind of Twitchish, somewhere in that range. Even though Twitch has been a much more start and stop uh, endeavor, I've been doing it nearly as long. But yes, much more. Uh, if I get around to it, if it makes sense to, and honestly, even to this point, it still really doesn't make much sense for me to do stuff on Twitch, considering how few folks actually show up to, to watch it. So, like, I, I'm loving these dual streams, and I think that's what I'm going to do moving forward if it's uh, viable and it doesn't look like garbage. Like, it, I keep looking at the preview screen, it looks real bad. I do a refresh on my stream page here just to see if it helps. I, I doubt it will, but maybe. I do have a million things open too right now. I mean, maybe it's lagging the computer, but usually, usually if it's if anything's lagging the computer, it will tell me that you know the stream is over overloaded or whatever. Nope, that did not help at all. It's still spitting and, and puttering. Yeah, really curious. Uh, Cop, are you still with me? Uh, just to, just so you guys know, the, the game runs incredibly smoothly. So if it's not looking great right now on Twitch, I apologize. I don't like to show games in a light where they're not actually, you know, how they should be shown. Because it, it, it runs flawlessly. It runs smooth as, as butter. So, it's, it's real good. So if it looks jittery and, and janky, that's, uh, somehow Twitch is like, uh-uh. I know you're also streaming to YouTube. Die! Because I feel like that's what it's doing. Uh, that's all right. We'll be uh, we'll be crashing here uh, whenever we finish up this lawn. This is just a kind of a hangout, relax, show off a game that I, I really I really like. I don't. Again, it seems like a simple, easy, and it is a simple, easy concept and game, and you know, not a lot of complexity here, but. It's just fun. There's something satisfying about, you know, simple, straightforward, focused, you know, do your job and, and get it done. And you can do it however you want to do it. They're not like saying, hey, you have to go and make these perfect lines and this, you know, you can build out little little chunks. This is something that I, I actually would prefer doing most of the time if I get the opportunity. As opposed to just, you know, following the outside, following the outside and coming in eventually. I would prefer actually building out little chunks and taking care of them a chunk at a time. I don't know if anybody else mows their lawn like that. Uh, I don't generally get a chance to, but that is how I prefer to do it. You're working, but you're here. You never work up. Come on. It's always, I got a family. They don't know how to get along. Whatever will we do? It's a sitcom, and then, you know, the, the dorm, 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 jingle comes up, and then the laugh track plays. Come on, Cup, we know. We know, Cup. We know. Does anybody uh, catch any of the go to two stuffs? You could live stream cutting your own one outside. Nah, too dangerous. Too dangerous. Next thing I know, I'll have a, I'll, I'll receive a package. It'll be Jung in a suitcase. He shipped himself over. He's like, hey man, I just want to come hang out in Canada, see what's going on. I'd be like, Jung, what if I told you about this? You're not allowed to ship yourself through the Canadian Post. There's a very real chance you would have died during so during transit. I should say. Yeah. Others, you gotta chunk it. You can't fit me into your straight lines. I will not. I will not conform to your norms, man. I might have rubbed that flower a little bit. It's fine. Let's see if we can get into 
the right angle in the right spot. There we go. Yeah. So here's another thing that folks might not know. If you do happen to have a lawn that's a little unruly and gets too long, and you do have a riding lawn mower, you don't necessarily, I mean, you're going to have to do it at least one strip, but you don't necessarily want to just dive in and try to get as much as you can with your mower. Uh, sometimes it's a good idea to kind of only do about half of your uh, blades width, your deck width, or whatever it's called. Uh, that way it's a little bit easier for your mower to handle seems less efficient, and yeah, maybe it is, but you can go a bit quicker if you're not going the full thing. Same thing Same thing applies to a snowblower. So I'm sure many of you have had to deal with snowblowing at some point in your lifetime. Uh, if it's particularly heavy snow and you're struggling with it at all, if you don't go like the full width of the uh, front part where the blades are, uh, you can usually go pretty easily might take a few extra you know trips down the bend but you know it's easier on everything you're not gonna be struggling as much so just little words of wisdom from my own experiences I don't sound anything like that here uh, uh, you're hoping that I'll play to Steam Early Access games and if I promise Poker Quest and Dyson Sphere program. You know, Dyson... Alright. This is kind of funny because I had received a lot of emails for it. And honestly, I, I skipped most of them early on. And I looked at it a little bit later on down the road. I'm like, oh, this actually looks kind of cool. Because uh, to me, like, the Dyson ball is uh, something to do with... Uh, isn't it like a, a vacuum cleaner? And I'm like... Because I get all sorts of weird emails. I get emails for like... And, and now I'm drawing a blank. I get emails for all sorts of things like, Hey, check out this uh, this dating service. And I'm like, nope. I've, I've never been on a dating website. Why am I getting dating service things? Hey, we're uh, this. Would you like to to check this out? Uh, here's a coupon for And I'm like, what? So I sure I get a lot of spam stuff too, but... There's things that are like actual, like legit, not spam, that are coming from like weird places. I can't really think of one right now, but like they exist, and I'm like, this is weird. So I'm like, how did I get like a vacuum cleaner uh, thing that they're continuously updating me on? And then I realized down the road, I'm like, oh, this is actually a, a game that has nothing to do. Because there was like no pictures or anything. It was just like Dyson, Dyson Sphere program. I'm like, what the heck is this? It was really strange. But yeah, further on down the road, I'm like, oh, when they finally started like showing the game to me a little bit, I'm like, oh, this looks pretty interesting. So it's been on my radar, but I did miss the early access version of it, so maybe down the road when it comes out on release, or maybe I'll put in a request, and if it just happens to come my way, sure. And Poker Quest, was it? I think I looked at that one, and while... I'll admit the game itself looks like an interesting, maybe I'm thinking of Card Quest or something, but it looked like an interesting idea. Uh, it wasn't really something that I was interested in myself, if that makes sense. But, who knows, maybe down the line, some stuff just gets sent my way and I'm like, uh, okay, sure, let's just check it out. So, it might be one of those that just comes my way and I just look at it and I go with it. But there's, like I said, there's a million things that I do not get to that I know I should at some point. Snow blowing? You just use the snow sh sh shovel. That's, that's like a shovel, but with a W. I like it. No, it's, it's fine. I'm just, I'm just teasing you. There's a sci-fi concept about capturing energy from the sun. Yeah, yeah. So, like, like, I, I, like I said, I realized... After a while, I'm like, they're not talking about a vacuum cleaner. Well, this is awkward. <laughs> it was one of those things where I'm just like, nope, read that one wrong. Whoopsie. Pretty funny, though. Hey, Missy, how's it going? So, folks on YouTube, how how does the, the actual, is it laggy at all? Because it looks real bad on, on Twitch right now. Because we're doing the, the restream thing again, so I'm very curious as to whether or not this is uh, what it's looking like on YouTube. 
It is. It is very relaxing. I, uh, I played this till like 6 in the morning last night. I'm like, oh, this was a mistake. I should not have done this. I figured I'd play a couple hours, go to bed like 3, 30, 4 o'clock. And I still didn't want to stop when I... I was like, alright, I'm going to stop. I'll do a quick challenge. And then that took me like 40 minutes. I'm like, alright, now I really have to stop. So, it is a bit laggy. Well, I will be doing a video or a video series on this at some point. I, and I won't do it a whole bunch, guys, guys. I, I won't let this take over my life. Maybe. I might. I might let it take over my life. I might quit YouTube and just start mowing lawns if it's this nice. But again, here I am in a, a nice, comfortable chair uh, in air conditioning. It's kind of nice. Versus being out in the heat in the bright sun. I think it's the sun's brightness that bothers me more than um, than the heat and since I've got these glasses uh, I, I had sunglasses before that would fit over my or, or my uh, previous pair like for actually like my entire life just about uh, glasses just go right over top they looked fine it was great uh, these glasses for whatever reason are wider than my other glasses were and I didn't. I didn't want to get squarish glasses. I wanted more rounded ones. But whatever. These these are fine, but they're wider. And them being wider means that my sunglasses don't fit on them anymore. So I have uh, basically had my eyes bleeding for the last several, well, last few years actually, and it sucks. And I don't like it. So I either need to go now. Back in the day, back in the day, I went and I got prescription sunglasses. And I had them for about uh, a month or so. And then our dog back in Florida, uh, Bella, uh, she ate them. She ate my, like, 200 or whatever, however many millions of dollars sunglasses were, I don't know, uh, prescription sun sunglasses. So I was like, oh, cool. And now that was a big, giant chunk of money wasted. I don't know why, so basically I was buying like $20 pairs of sunglasses that fit over my other glasses. And it was great, because I'd go there and I'd be like, Fuck. the glasses would still be, I, I don't know, I liked it. I thought it was cool. And it's it's now what I prefer. I don't I don't like the idea of having to keep track of two pairs of glasses or, you know, let's let's go here. All right, now i got to take these off and put them away. I just have my sunglasses and put them on top of my head or around my neck and it was done. It was fine. Ah, well, it is what it is. Hey, holy. Uh, no, those don't, those have never worked for me. I, I think I did try them once, and I know my, my father had them. He's like, this is the biggest pile of crap I've ever had. I hate them Oh, I, I went too fast and tore up the ground a little bit. Uh, these are the biggest pile of craps I ever have. When it's when it's light out, they don't do enough to block the light, and when it's dark, they still have a little, you know, slightly dark. They still have too much of a tint. Now, granted, his vision's a little bit worse than mine in some ways, so it might be a different story for me. But your eye twitch came back uh, thanks to watching the international matches. Romanian time, sweet. Eye twitches are good, man. means you actually did something. You haven't just been sitting around doing nothing forever. It means you're finally working to a normal capacity. Aha. I missed this a little bit. Oh, always be twitching. That, that's, that's uh, I think, the motto of many streamers and also eyeglass people. There we go. Look at that silky smooth uh, turn there that I can't control because I'm bad. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Kool-Aid guy. Oh yeah. Come on. I know. I'm missing stuff. I'm overloading the engine. I know. I know. Alright. Now let's clean up all the little bits that we missed. Feels good. All right, Womp, have fun. Yeah, we're only gonna be going about another 20 minutes. Uh, the stream will be up on YouTube, so you can of course watch where, from wherever you left off. If uh, the lawn mowing is super exciting to you, 
her back and neck. It sounds like a personal problem, man. Uh, not looking at screens. I don't know. I don't know. Everybody's built differently, right? I mean, I spend 200 million hours a day. Oh, uh, here was a fun stat um, for the international. Um, I looked... I don't remember exactly what day it was, but it said in the past two weeks, it's a hundred. Is it 180 hours in a in a week? 160 hours in a week, something like that. Someone can actually do the math and let me know what it is. I would appreciate it. But uh, I spent 188 hours in Dota 2 in the past two week uh, two weeks. So that basically means I spent more than a week in the past two weeks in Dota 2, mostly watching. And I'm sure it's much higher now because uh, that was, I think, at the start of or before the main event happened. So, yeah, that's that's like 12 hours a day for uh, two weeks being, being and looking at and watching Dota in some capacity. And like I said, everybody's built differently, Cup. Uh, thankfully, my eyes are not twitching. I've, I've definitely been on the point where my eyes, my arms, my, you know, body parts just randomly twitching in it sounds so I get it but yeah it doesn't seem to affect me the same way it does you which again everybody's different I get it I get it my eyes melt that, that's not good melted eyes are not a thing you want you should maybe go to a doctor about melted eyes don't think there's a lot they can do to you or for you at that point they can do a lot to you but I don't think they do a lot for you once your eyes are melted but Maybe provide small cups for them. I mean, your names are cups, so you'd think you'd have that one locked down, but I don't know. 168. Okay, so yeah, I was at 188, so still over over a week. Cybernetic eyes. Yeah, I don't think we're at that. We're, we're almost at that stage, though. I, I've heard that there's certain things that they're doing where uh, people can see, like, colors and shapes and light and stuff, which is kind of neat, that are blind. So, we're getting there. It's not quite there yet. Opticians mostly don't know what to do with you. You have two functional eyes, but you can't look through them at the same time. Oh, no. Yeah, that's weird. There, I had somebody else who was saying that um, one of their eyes... They were almost completely blind, but they could just not use that eye while still having it open. And to me, that is the most mind-blowing thing ever, because I, I can't not look out of one of my eyes. Like, I can't just be like, all right, I'm not going to use that eye to look through. That's so weird, but really cool at the same time. Because, like, it just blew my mind. I, I could not, and I still can't to this to this day, fully grasp what that means or how that works. But it's, you're the second person that said that they can control which eye they actually see out of. I don't know if that means, like, do you, does it just go blank? Do you not, I, like, I don't know how that works. That's very interesting. Killed your endurance in your 20 all nighters, straight screen. Well, I guess, I guess I was a, I was a more of a rugged screen stare cup. I remember, uh, like, I don't want to say, like, all weekers, but uh, definitely more than, a, like, a 48-hour a week period. Like, two or three days in a row where I stayed up doing whatever I was doing. Uh, I, I, was a, I was a monster beast back in the day. Still am, I suppose, by comparison. I'm definitely feeling my age. I do have a hard time staying awake. I'm not going to lie, there was a, a few times I'm watching an international game and I'm like, and my eyes are closed. I need to open them. All right, uh, they're talking. All right, I'm just going to lay here or sit here and fall asleep for a little bit. Like an old man in his chair, you know. <laughs> I'll sit down and watch some TV. Just pass out, you know. A couple of those uh, happened for me for sure, but... I, I've not slept well lately. Um... Like, I, I feel like I, I pass out okay for a bit, and I get some good sleep, and then I'm just real antsy, and I, I want to get up. 
and I just don't sleep well at that point. And I don't know why. It's really weird because I've been real tired lately. I have not had much sleep or on the normal schedule. So hopefully that all changes. He sees only one image. Oh, well, I suppose if, if you're, um, you know, it's what you get used to, right? But yeah, she, she wore glasses, and I think in one of her, on her eye that didn't have problems, uh, she had near perfect vision. So, like, one side was, like, completely just, like, glass. And the other side was a very heavy prescription because she was nearly blind in that eye as far as, like, how bad vision was. So she, I'm like, oh, where are your glasses today? She's like, oh, and she told me about this. So I'm like, what? I'm like, how does, what do you mean? I just don't use that eye. What do you mean you don't use that eye? I, like, I, I can't, I can't fathom it, but I, I don't know. I suppose if, um, you know how you, you can cover it in one eye and then you can see maybe a little bit better out of this eye or out of that eye? I think it's something like that where your brain gets used to whatever tools you have and it pulls from both of them and then kind of corrects it. But, like, I know if I'm wearing glasses and then I'm not wearing glasses, or, like, on one eye I, I have my glasses off, oh, my God, it's like somebody just punched me in the head and in the stomach at the same time. I get real nauseous. It's bad. I mean, I, I'm, I'm re I have real bad vision, but, like, let, let's, let's see here. Let's see. I cannot read anything on the screen. Hey, no, I can read progress. And if I squint, all right, if I, if I don't squint, I can kind of see that says progress. If I squint, I can see it says progress, and it's either 81.7 or 91.7, and I can't read the number on the right, 2902 maybe? That's about it. That's, that's about all I can read. Everything is blurry as can be. I can read that we're going zero miles an hour and that our fuel light is flashing, but I, I'm real blind without my glasses. I cannot see so, desperately need glasses. I am very nearsighted, yes. And I can I can see fine nearsighted, though. Like, if I, if I got close to the screen, I can read it very, very, very good. Like, at night when I lay down, I can read my Kindle without my glasses on. Just fine. It's not a problem. Or my phone, I guess, as it is now. Uh, my wife uh, sort of destroyed all of her Kindles because she hates me, I guess. And, um, oh, so here's a, a little device that I think my father found, Senior Splooch. Um, so you guys know, like, the... This will show with this. Should show up. So you guys know, it, it's, it's not... What is this called? I don't know. The, the USB that's not like super fat like the original USB like the smaller one it might just be blurry at this point but like the smaller USB that you plug in uh, not the it might be micro USB or mini it might be mini it's not the one that goes into like current gen phones that's uh, like your place to like my controller here this is like the newest gen one then there was this one which is a smaller one and then there was the old school one which is the big like square with like the slanted angle so this is like the, I don't know, maybe it's the mini USB or micro USB. Anyway, so for these, I don't know if you guys run into this, but a lot of your devices will start getting slippy, like it won't stick in there very well. And oftentimes you can break that charging port. So my father found these things where you'll get them and they, they slide into the thing and they have a magnetic connection. Now, I wouldn't recommend it on a controller or something like that that you're gonna be moving around and using. But if you're trying to charge like a Kindle or a tablet or something like that, you plug that in and then you plug your, your cord into whatever you're gonna plug it into and then it just goes by and it just goes ka and it just locks into place and it charges and it works great. If you're gonna have a tablet or something like that, 100% recommend you guys getting your hands on those. That's a square in the upper part. Yeah, so it's the one that's like this. It's flat on one side, and then it's like curved on the top. And it it, it is a smaller one, so yeah. So whatever that is, I think it is the micro USB. But uh, I do recommend if you guys have anything that 
you don't want to have damaged or you know screwed up over the years because my wife would always get the thing she pulled it into the bed and it'd be like the cord would be taut and she just I don't know, she, she ruined like three or four different Kindle fires and it was it was not good and you know over time they're going to wear out eventually anyway so I mean like there is a limited lifespan with that so like I said I do recommend if you have something like a like a phone maybe even or well what my wife has now is she's got the like just lay her phone on it and it charges it wirelessly uh, I recommend that for a phone but for like a tablet or something just get one of those magnetic connections and it's great it's so good it works super well um, yeah, that's what my wife uses for her tablet now, and like I said, I got the wireless charger for her phone because she was complaining about always having to swap this and that and this and that. I'm like, all right, look, here, problem solved, and boom. She's like, oh my god, and her phone, of course, uh, did not have that built in, so I had to get a little device that plugged into the bottom of her phone, and then it sits under her case, like sticks to it, it's like a little pad, but it works. She's got one of those Huawei uh, stupid phones. Sorry, sorry. If anybody has a Huawei phone and they love it, that's great. But uh, those phones were really good very briefly. They're like, hey, we have this amazing camera. And other people are like, oh, yeah, well, now we have an amazing camera too. And then, like, their, their claim to fame was just gone at that point. But, hey, you know what? People like what they like. If you guys have that, I'm not, I'm not mocking you. I just... I hate using her phone because everything is almost right, but it's not. It, no, it'd be way worse if I was touching an iPhone. I, I, I'm, I'm very anti i I'm just saying. That's just me. But, uh, yeah. No, no. We, we, we Android up in this place. That's what we do. Alright. As we're, we're getting down to the, the last uh, 5% of the lawn here, Hopefully you guys had some fun just, you know, hanging out, talking, watching my laggy stream. I apologize. Uh, I've not had any issues with Restream until now, so this is uh, a little concerning. Uh, maybe I'll try adjusting bitrate, or again, maybe this maybe this game is just really intense, and for streaming purposes, it's too much. There's a lot of moving parts, right? So I'm sure the video will come out. Like, the game is playing beautifully, even looking at it on the preview of the recording it looks fantastic i have zero drop frames it's not overloading the gpu or the cpu because that would all show up on obs it's just the stream itself is a bit laggy so apologies there but this is more of a conversational stream just hanging out and still showing off uh, this this fun game yep using obs obs everything like i said everything is solid working 100 percent. so this is just the stream Possibly even restream that aisle. That's killing me here. Yeah, now, ordinarily, if uh, this was too much, like, uh, I remember in the days of playing, was it Ghost Recon Breakpoint, I think it was, with the Colonel and Splooch and everybody? Uh, I had some actual in-game lag, and I had a lot of my encoder is overloading lag, and that was uh, that was causing stops and starts and stutters and things inside. So yeah, it, it's great uh, inside the uh, recording. So you get to the percentage they want you to complete, and you can just leave the last strip now. Efficiency say, says I should just go now and be done, but I want to finish it. You know, I have to. I think this might be like a psychological test that they do to us. I think the developers might be like, you, you did enough of the lawn, you can go now. But I think everybody would want to finish the lawn. They don't want to just sit there and not finish it, right? It just feels bad, it feels wrong. So I think they did that to see how many people would just be like, all right, peace out, and they just leave. All right, and done. Uh, try disabling hags in Windows. I don't know what hags is. Try that with House Flipper. It has to be 
Ah, they sent. You know, it's weird. They sent me. A, I think it was House Flipper. They sent me DLC for House Flipper, but they never sent me the main game. So I do want to cover it, though. I, I reached out to them. Hopefully, they get back to me. I don't know. Um, yeah, the game looked like a lot of fun. So I'm hoping that I get back to it. All right, so let's go take a look real quick. Hedge of Bunny's wife saying, "Get a book or something." Which your Kindles? Uh, she well, she she did, she did actually. And she's like, "Do you have all those books?" And I do. I have a whole bunch of books that I haven't quite read yet. You read one of those. I'm like, "Yes," but the convenience of being able to lay in bed in the dark and not wake you up reading, which is where I do most of my reading, is a lot easier than going and having a physical book and needing light to read it. Just saying. Also, uh, I'm sure this will spark some controversy too, because Cup is always contrarian to me and he hates me, so he's always trying to oppose me in all things. So, real quick, folks, um, this is how I like to read. A lot of people like uh, black on white, as far as uh, black text on a white background. To me, this is how. Let's see if I can get it there without blinding you guys. Without the glare. This is how it should always be. Gray text on a on a uh, on a black background. That's how it should be. Like a light gray text on a black background. Super easy on the eyes. You can see it very well. Like I, I don't uh, uh, like you know paper white and all this stuff. All these Kindles and things that came out. These e-readers back in the day were so bad. And my, and my mother was always like, oh, did you want an e-reader? I'm like, no, no. And then the, the Kindle Fire came out, and it was, you know, like a mini tablet with all this other stuff. And she's like, I'm going to get you a Kindle. I'm like, I don't. She's like, look, here, this is what we're going to do. Oh, I had a lot of penalties for the, the weekly report there. Not bad, though. I mean, all things considered. There was one, I think I was just running into stuff to see how messed up I could do things. So we got a credible rank and oh, one, one more day in our update. Oh, cool. So it goes through the entire week and then the weekends, I guess we take off. Oh, well, that's good. Good. That means I didn't have to do two more days of mowing that I, before I can get my employee out there doing some stuff too, which is nice. So under the cover with an e-reader and so much easier. It is, it is a lot easier. Hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. The, the, actually, it is a good game. Uh, I, I, I replied when they sent me the DLC with their PR people. Uh, I'll, I'll follow it up again, or maybe I'll make a separate request for the main game itself. Because they sent stuff to me, and I think I just ended up missing it at the time. Or they came at me with DLC. Like, the game's going to be out. And then, like, I didn't hear from them for a while. And then it's like, new DLC for the game. I'm like, wait. There's, there's a there's a big disconnect where, where when did the game release when did you know where, where was that request to be made you know so so I missed it at some point somewhere down the road uh, that better to read once a little light room yep I just like I said I, I always prefer everything that I do to be in dark mode dark mode is just so much easier on the eyes I do have light sensitivity. It's gotten a little bit better. That's one of the reasons I actually don't like having the lights on the camera and everything. It's not necessarily really the camera, per se. It's the lights. But if I want it to look decent, I have to have the lights on. They're, they're at the lowest setting to where they don't start to screw up my green screen, which is nice because they can get, like, way, way brighter. They're on two clicks. I think they can go up to ten. They go up to, like, six or something. So yeah, it's it's way 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 better. All right, there we go. So, ta-da! So yeah, that's that's the stream in a nutshell, folks. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. You got to hang out with me a little bit. It's five o'clock, perfect time for me to stop. Five for me, four p.m. Eastern. It's in the graphic settings. So my hopes are that I will be streaming tomorrow on Twitch exclusively. I am going to bring down the restream, the YouTube thing and everything here in a second. And I'm going to kick on to Twitch itself just to see uh, how it runs 
on that, and I'll probably just quit out. And so it'll be like a five minute stream on Twitch to see how it runs versus it running on Restream because it was, like I said, pretty bad. But I think that's actually the the problem right now. It could be our our hags are are hagging it up, uh, as you said, uh, holy. But it it could just be Restream. And then we're gonna be getting into some recordings, and we're gonna get some uploads going, and. I'll build a schedule probably in a week. We'll just kind of wing it for this week, and then I'll have everything set for the following week, and we'll get back into things full swing. whole bunch of uh, Steam streaming coming up in the next week or two, and then over the next month or so as well. And, of course, Wednesday we'll be doing something. I'm sure I totally don't remember what it is. I can tell you guys. Uh, Wednesday we'll have our game industry discussion, and it will be about... Come on, brain. Come on. Nope. That's not the right thing. Industry pit pitfalls and what we've learned so far. So hopefully that'll help out. Uh, anyone who is eager and excited to check that out, that'll be on Indie Bros PR Twitch channel or our YouTube channel, which doesn't have a cool link or anything yet. So we'll see. We'll see. Either way, folks, that's it for now. For this stream i'll see you guys again on twitch in just a few minutes uh doing a quick mo testing thingy and seeing how that goes and then yeah that'll be it so take care and i'll see you guys tomorrow on